Hexagonal Nut In this video, we will learn how to draw the orthographic view of a hexagonal nut in engineering. We will understand with the help of a 3D view. The most commonly used method is the first angle method. In this method, we consider a hexagonal nut placed in the first quadrant like this. We consider viewing the nut from this direction. In this case, the view from this side will be our front view. When we view it from this side, which is our front view, it will look like this. When we view it from the top, the nut will look like this. Next, from the left side view, the nut will look like this. And from the right side view, look like this. I hope this clarifies how the different views of a hexagonal nut look from different perspectives. With this understanding, we can start drawing. We will first start with drawing a hexagonal nut. Mostly, to draw the nut, the diameter of the bolt is given. Or sometimes, it is asked to be drawn freehand. To do so, we will consider the diameter of the bolt to be equal to 40 millimeters. These are the general dimensions for a standard hexagonal nut. Let's begin drawing. In this case, we will first draw the top view. We will be drawing using the first angle method, and we know that the top view is drawn below the front view, which is here. When we see the nut from the top, it will look like this, and it is represented like this in engineering drawings. The distance across the corners is generally two times the nominal diameter of the bolt. The diameter of this circle is 40 millimeters. This three quarters circle represents the internal thread of the nut. The diameter of this inner circle ranges from 0.8 to 0.85 times the given diameter. We will consider it to be 0.8 times the diameter, which is 32 millimeters in length. With this information, we can start drawing the top view of the nut. Take a drafter and draw a horizontal and vertical axis line as shown. The intersection of these axes will be our center point. Take a compass, adjust it to 40 millimeters in length, and draw a circle as shown. After this, without changing the length of the compass, use these two corner points to cut the arcs on the circumference of the circle as shown. These points will be our corner points of the hexagon. Take a ruler and join these points to construct the hexagon. After this, take a compass and adjust it to 16 millimeters in length. Using this point as a center, draw a circle as shown. Next, adjust the compass to the length along the axis line from the center as shown and draw a circle. After this, Adjust the compass to 20 millimeters in length and draw the three quarters circle as shown. This three quarters circle represents the internal thread of the nut. This completes the top view of the nut. Next, we will draw the front view. To do so, project the projection lines as shown. This is how it looks from the front view. The height or thickness of the nut is equal to the diameter, which is 40 millimeters. The width of the nut across corners will be equal to two times the diameter, which is 80 millimeters. The middle portion is equal to the diameter, and the sides are half of the diameter. The radius of this chamfer ranges between 1.2 times the diameter to 1.5 times the diameter. The angle made by this chamfer at corners ranges between 15 degrees to 30 degrees. In our case, we will consider 30 degrees. Since we consider the height of the nut to be 40 millimeters, which is equal to the diameter. Take a drafter and draw the required rectangular outline as shown. The radius of the arc, that is the chamfer, is 1.5 times the diameter. 
To draw this, adjust the compass to 60 mm in length, and by placing it at this point, cut the arc as shown. This point will act as a center for the chamfer. Place the compass at this point and cut the arc as shown. Similarly, for the opposite side chamfer of the nut, place the compass at this point and cut the arc. Now, placing it on this point, draw the chamfer as shown. Next, we need to draw the remaining chamfers. To do so, we need to draw the lines passing from the centers of these two surfaces. Take a compass, adjust it to some length, and by placing it at these two points, cut the arcs as shown. Similarly, do for the other surface also. After this, draw the dotted lines passing through these points as shown. Take a ruler and join these two points. After this, we need to divide this line into two halves. Take a compass and adjust it to a length which is greater than half of this line, which is to be divided. By placing it at these two endpoints, cut the arcs as shown. After this, draw a line passing through these two points, such that it cuts the dotted line passing through the center of the surface. This intersection point is the center point required to draw the arc. Take a compass and adjust it to this length as shown. And draw the chamfer as shown. Now without changing the length of the compass, place it at this point and cut the arc as shown. Now using this point as the center, draw the chamfer. Similarly, do for the other side. Without changing the length of the compass, cut the arcs by placing it on these points on the center lines. These points serve as the centers needed to draw the chamfers accurately. Draw the chamfers by placing a compass at these points. After this, adjust the drafter to 30 degrees as shown and draw the edges of the nut. After this, draw the horizontal lines as shown. In the end, we will complete the nut by drawing the internal threads. The internal threads are represented by vertical dotted lines as shown. This completes the front view of the hexagonal nut. Next, we will move on to the side view of the nut. To draw the nut, we will first project the projection lines from the front and top view. Draw horizontal projection lines from the front view as shown. Next, draw an inclined line at 45 degrees from the origin. Project the projection lines from the top view as shown. These lines will help us in drawing the side view of the nut. Draw the rectangle representing the outline of the nut as shown. After this, we need to divide these two surfaces in half. To do so, take a compass and adjust it to some length, and by using these points as the center, cut the arcs as shown.
Draw a line passing through these two points. Similarly, draw a line passing from the other surface. Join these two points as shown. Next, we need to draw a perpendicular passing from the center of this line. Take a compass and divide this line as shown. Draw a line passing through these points as shown. This intersection point gives us the center point required to draw the chamfer. Take a compass, place it on this point, and adjust it to this length as shown. After this, draw the chamfer. Similarly, do for other chamfers. Draw the arcs using these points as the centers. After this, using these points as centers, draw the chamfers for the nut as shown. Draw a vertical line as shown. In the end, draw the vertical dotted lines representing the internal threads of the nut. This completes the orthographic projection of the nut. I hope this video has been helpful in guiding you through the process of drawing a hexagonal nut. In the next video, we'll delve into drawing the hexagonal bolt. If you found this video useful, don't forget to hit the like button, and if you're new here, consider subscribing to my channel, ADTW Study. Your support means a lot, so please share this video with your friends. It'll enable me to produce more content like this for you in the future.